peace, peace. Salam Allah, Salam, Hotep, Islam Alaikum family. Peace on the streets. I'm your brother in the struggle, brother minister Ali for law. And today I want to build and decipher on Lost Found Muslim Lesson number two, section number 11 from February 20th, 1934 from Prophet W.D. Fard. In that lesson, as far Muhammad asked the Honorable Elijah Muhammad a question, he basically explained, Will you sit up at home and wait for that mystery God to bring you food? Think about that. How many brothers and sisters are sitting around waiting on a mystery God, looking for a God or a goddess outside of themselves to do for them that which they must inevitably do for themselves? You don't want to be in that position, regardless of your status in life. You know what I mean? Whether you're working a nine to five, if you own your own business, if you're unemployed, if you're hustling on these streets, if you're locked up in prison, whatever, you know what I mean? You're going to have to answer your own prayers, you know what I mean? The message explained to Master Far Muhammad, you know what I mean? Emphatically, though, think about that. And the Savior asked him, will you sit up at home and wait for that mystery God to bring you food? The message was like, emphatically, no. Explanation like, heck no. You know what I mean? In fact, you know, he explained that me and my people who have been lost from home for 379 years have tried this so-called mystery God for bread, clothing. Think about it. Our people in the wilderness of North America, we prayed to Jesus in the sky. We prayed to Allah, Sapan, White, to Isla, sitting up on the throne somewhere on the earth, somewhere beyond the sun, moon, and stars. We prayed to those mystery gods for... 400, 500, going on 600 years, you know what I mean? And that mystery God didn't hear us because that mystery God doesn't have ears, you know what I mean? That mystery God didn't see us because that mystery God doesn't have eyes. That mystery God didn't answer any prayer because that mystery God doesn't have a mouth, a mouth to speak with. But you do, you know what I mean? And that don't mean that you should depend on your sister, your brother, your mommy, your daddy, your nephews, your nieces, your cousins, your uncles, your aunties, your grandmom, your grandpa, your homies, your homegirls, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, charity begins at home. I mean, if you if you out here on these streets doing what you do, hey, I mean, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You got to stand on that. You got to, you know what I mean? Man up, woman up. And I mean, you you know you gotta stay strong. And I mean, you go to you go to the county, state, federal prison. Don't do no crime. And I mean, you you adapt. Do what you gotta do to survive. You make it happen. And I mean, don't don't expect your homies to uh, come break you out of prison. <laughs> I mean, how often do you have heard that on the news? I mean, you know, bailing you out. It happens occasionally, you know what I mean? Less than 1% of the time. You know what I mean? The so-called Italian mafia, whatever, they go to jail, whatever. You know what I mean? You know, they be like, man, my, my wife and children out there struggling. You know what I mean? That's, you know, they they they, they need uh, state relief. They need welfare or something, the EBT card. And you got all these so-called gangsters. You know what I mean, they may have nice cars and jewelry and, and tuxedos and suits and whatever the case may be but at the end of the day they just drive by your wife your girlfriend your baby mama your mama your grandmama oh how so and so tell them i say hi they ain't putting no money in that pocket i mean they ain't buying no no houses you know why because when you was out here you wasn't doing it <laughs> i mean i mean meaning before you make those type of moves your woman your, your 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 baby's mama, your your mama, your grandmama, they supposed to be secure. You supposed to you supposed to be like, oh, I, I'm not waiting on no mystery guy to get no lawyer. I knew what I was into. You know what I mean? I, I got I retained my lawyer when I was up. I mean, you know, I ain't I ain't throw the money around in the clubs and all that. It's like, no, I, I took my money and I bought some real estate. I put it in in so and so name. I, I got I got some things, I got nest eggs all over the place. So even if you fall, even if you die, 
At least your children can live. At least your woman can live. At least your mama, your grandma, your great grandma, your papa, you know what I mean? Your brothers, your sisters, your nieces, and nephews. At least they can, can, you know what I mean? Be in a stronger position. I mean, you don't want to sacrifice for nothing and just the devil just come in and take everything. That's like sitting at home and waiting on the mystery God to bring you food. That's the teacher says, will you sit at, at home and wait for that mystery God to bring you food? Emphatically, no. Me and my people have tried that so-called mystery God. For bread, clothing, and home, we receive nothing but a hard time. Hunger, nakedness, and out of doors. You be homeless. You be. I see people sleeping in the rain under tarps. And I wonder, whose mother is that? Whose sister is that? Whose brother is that? Who's, um, and I mean, you know, I, I, I see homeless people digging through trash cans, looking for a meal in the wilderness of North America. I mean, you know, it's, it's like sometimes we have to give our people a fish, you know what I mean? But the key is to teach them how to fish. I want to teach you how to fish. You know what I mean? I want to teach you how to do for yourself. You know what I mean? To get that spooky stuff out of you. You know what I mean? To be more strategic in your moves. You know what I mean? Don't work harder, work smarter. You know what I mean? Remember, family, will you sit up at home and wait for that mystery guy to bring you food? Emphatically, no.